Hi everybody. Okay, I'm going to take you through how to use the calculator to solve a multiple choice problem where you're required to solve an equation. So here's the question we're going to solve. The very first thing we're going to do is bring everything to one side of the equation. Okay, so I brought the one-third to the x plus six over and that's what I'm going to enter into y1. Okay, so here we go. So I'm going to go y equals and we're going to enter the equation. So 9 to the power of 2x, okay, you can now come down from the top there, minus bracket 1 divided by 3. Now you got to put the, make sure that the base is in brackets here, okay, so that you're, you're taking the whole thing to the power of x plus 6. Now once that's in, entered it, I could graph this, but I'm not going to, okay? Graphing is always a, a good solution though, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go second window to get into my table set menu, and I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna turn my independent from auto to ask, okay? Now what that does is that sets the calculator up so that when you go second graph, go into the table of values, you get a blank screen. Now, that might look like a step backwards, but actually that's a good thing because what the calculator is doing is it's waiting for me to provide it with the x values. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the options in the multiple choice question. So 6, enter, 2, enter, negative 4 thirds, enter, negative 6 fifths, there we go, enter. What I'm looking for here is the option that gives me a zero. And in this case, it's the last one. So the answer to this question would actually be negative 6 fifths. The answer is D. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for the value that gets me a zero here. Now, if you get a multiple choice question where you're not getting a zero, that's because they're using rounded numbers in their options in the multiple choice question. What you need to do is simply choose the one that gives you an, a value for the Y coordinate here that's closest to zero. Okay. Now, when you're done this problem, once you've answered it, please go back into table set. Oops, sorry, back into table set and go turn that independent back to auto because you'll want that to look like that for later on. Good luck.